we'll talk about the debt to GDP ratio. But before we do that, though, the the chief executive for the the MD for the Ghana Gas Company, Dr. Sipayanke, has been saying there's a decision now to make sure um, the gas that is coming out from the Jubilee fields is, is flared because apparently for all the investment that we've made and the preparations we've made for the gas processing plant, we're still not ready to get enough gas to power, you see, the tico and the taco, so to speak. Okay. I, I Almost mean, like a non-turnaround. You see, uh, this is some of the problems that we face as a country. And uh, for me, you can give all the excuses in the world, all the reasons in the world. It's a failure in management, right? Because remember that when um, Atuabu came on stream, we were given the impression that that was basically going to be the saving grace that our energy crisis you are, was. You were given the impression by who? Of all the commentators, I don't, I don't even, including, categorically including, stated. even including the president himself. What the president out, said was it will complement. No. I mean, I, I'm, I make, let me make my point. Mm. That's why I use impression, right? Because all the commentary leading up to Atobi coming on stream was that it was going to essentially um, alleviate our energy crisis. It hasn't. And this basically goes to the fact that this particular government does not have a comprehensive strategy to deal with the energy crisis. So you can take Ghana gas as an isolated case, but in all honesty, I feel that they are at loss as to how to mm. deal with Mr. Mr. Chu, is it because you and don't, you don't, know, you don't want to know the strategy or no, you feel let me, no let, strategy? Me, let me tell you something. There's been a plethora of reasons, right? There's, a, there's been a plethora of reasons coming from government as to why we are facing the current energy crisis. You don't believe government? No, not at all. Now, anytime there seems to be light at the end of the tunnel, I mean, so to speak, they conjure another reason why we are supposed to be sleeping in the dark. And the fact that businesses have to go without energy and the economy is actually being affected. Now, so for me, Ghana guys can say all they want, but the truth of the matter is that it's a total failure in terms of how our energy has been managed. And anytime you come on platforms like this, the excuse is that, oh, the MPP government did not add a single megawatt. And I, it's extremely laughable because they have access to all the information. They have access to all the things, all the things that were put in place to give us uh, some kind of comfort in our energy sector. And then not to even go further, Three years after they took over from the MPP government, the energy crisis started. Now, going by their own arguments, going by their own arguments, that 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 that, that, the, that government needed to be futuristic. Exactly. Yeah, that's my point. So, for you to sit here today and start putting all the blame mm. on a government that has left power almost seven years ago, right? Especially when the, 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 the situation that we are going through started three years after you took office, in 2012. What it really means is that if you had any long-term strategy, mm. you should have started from day one. Well, so if they come into power in 2009... Well, Rico, for all that you say, the flaring of gas uh, uh, that should be undertaken now is not the fault of the Ghana Gas Company. Whose fault is it? Is it? As far as we're concerned, the best investments have been made. Yes. The project deadlines have been met, of course, despite yeah. all the postponement. Mm -hmm. The facilities are available, but the gas just won't be ready to be, to be uh, uh, perhaps yes. also piped into, into the facilities of the Ghana Gas Company to get to the various uh, um, thermal plants or, no. or, or the gas no. plants that we have. No. Is that not the no. case? No. no. But the machines are not available to take those gas. That is the story. Okay. That yeah, the Ghana gas, the, the infrastructure... <laughs> no, the infrastructure for the Ghana exactly. gas is ready. Exactly. Yes, exactly. but as so far as... How, but yeah, the, the medium, the medium of cutting is, or transport... What is the yes. reason why... Right. What's the reason why the machines are not ready? Machines, based on any proper planning, project management, planning or corporate governance, right? Putting together a facility like this with all the investment that has gone into it, right? You come back after five years, and even that particular project mm. is five years overdue. 
and we are still having issues with machines what being you, ready. What, is, what do you mean by five years I'm talking about the Atuabo. Yeah, yes, uh, Atuabo. If you have followed uh, uh, the plan, Atuabo should have should have been should have been completed in 2010. Yeah, uh, well, no, that was no, that was if when they had followed the, the MPP the plan. MPP plan. Okay, we do understand. Just, but from the time that they started, they should have completed at least the first quarter. Even of last by year. their own timelines. They have failed. It went overboard. Yeah, several over three quarters years. behind. At the point we were hearing okay. the so, pirates. So, so, so for you, no, that's what I'm saying. That listen. So for you, you, they listen, have no excuse. Listen, if you listen, right? If you listen to the plethora of excuses and reasons why we've had challenges with our energy sector, I can bet you that this atuable situation would be resolved by next week. They will come up with another reason. When the president went to uh, commission Buidam. If you have um, the tape of exactly what he said over there, the president says that Buidam has come on stream. That's it, bingo. Our energy crisis is over. Doomso is a thing of the past. And now, when you are saying that Doomso, you'll be saying, yeah, Mohammed, mm. yeah, I do, I do, I do understand. You yeah, understand what I'm saying? I, 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 guess I remember where, 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 where now. you can go 36 hours, 48 hours uh, without light. I remember vividly that day too, he said, uh, Ghanaians seem to have a short memory and they, and, and, and that. So okay. they are playing but, on but, our but, short but, memories and that <laughs> is not going to happen. Okay. Now, as far as we're concerned, once the facility, um, with all the investment that was going to be uh, made, was in place and has been completed, uh, wasn't it the responsibility of whoever, whether it's government, etc., to make sure uh, the medium for trans transporting from oh, the offshore thing. to the onshore was undertaken? Roland, um, first and foremost... Because this is a complete setback, Mr. Kandor. First and foremost, let me say it is rather unfortunate to have such a situation. But of course, some of these analyses are, for me now, described as very simplistic of the situation, unless, of course, you are deliberately doing it or you don't understand the problems at hand. You are referring to me? Or, or you, no. you mean the general the, yeah, some criticism of, some, against some of, yeah, why? Some of this, like I've heard from my brother here. This is called Eric Chu. Eric, Eric, Chu. Eric mm. sorry, Eric. Like I've heard from Eric. Very simplistic. And you know, one of the difficult things to do at this point in time is when you seem to tell Ghanaians the realities on the ground. Because look, whatever, we need light, we need energy. So the explanations and what have you doesn't matter to us, you understand. So anybody who seems to simplify the whole issue, his message or her message will be, will be absorbed quicker than you who is trying to tell the people the reality on the ground. So that is a problem, that is a challenge to begin with. But you see, Roland, we have a very difficult situation. And I think that my brother Eric, his political party could have helped us to avoid this situation. How? Yes, How? yes. How? yes. How? yes. How? yes. 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 You had three years before the start of oh, oh, will, you, will, you, will, you, will you allow me? There was no doom song. Will you okay. allow me? Will you allow me? Will you allow me? Yes. You know, we have three main, and I'm saying main, I'm choosing my words carefully, three main sources of power that we use to fire the plants to get the electricity. We have the gas as in liquefied petroleum gas, and we have the crude, and we have the water, mm. hydro. Mm. These are the, the main ones mm. we have as far and as the gas we use is natural gas, it's not liquefied petroleum. Oh, gas. Thank you for the correction. Thank you for the correction. These are the main sources, you understand. And so we also know very well that as a country, our demand for energy increases almost every year. In mm. fact, at a at a point in time, it increases not less than twelve percent. So as a responsible you mean government. from the last time we had a measurement of 12 percent 12 percent as a responsible that, that's, government. That's, that's not the consistent figure that well I let me even say an average of 10 percent let me even grant that that an average of 10 percent any responsible government in place will think about projections such that at least at least even if you not add a reserve you will take care of the increment per year mm. You understand. When you came to power in 2000, you noticed that. Of course, there were, there of course. I'll tell you what we have done from 2010 to, to today. 
and I'll tell you what they have done from 2001. But that's not the point of argument. No, so, 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 you so see, go on, go no, the energy situation is not just like you have planted a plantain today and you are cutting it today. It should be a long term plan. It should be a long term plan. No, but that is if somebody has mismanaged the energy system, it is the MPP. So let's put it. It can never be there. It can never be there. It's like setting your own questions. You see, the thing is that it's like setting your own questions. When you were talking, I kept quiet. The best I could do was to laugh at it. And so be tolerant and listen to me. After that, you have your brain. What you're doing is basically misleading the public. Okay, and I have a response. Misleading the public. That's unfair. Now, now, please make a commentary on the on the. No, I I need to learn with the greatest deal of. You want to lay a foundation. Yeah, of of course. And so, if any government has mismanaged the energy sector, it is the MPP. And yeah, no, that no, no, no. is a fact, a statement of fact. I can think of the 80 megawatt plant that was bought by the mines for the eight good years. You mean there was the, no the mining reserve plant? Exactly. Okay. There was no single project that was started and completed under the MPP regime. Mm. Started and completed, and I choose my words carefully. But they initiated the process for okay. and, and <laughs> we And we, if you are talking about, ugly. if we should change the history of we won't end today, we that's okay. <laughs> That's okay. No, so let's go there. Continue. You understand? Mm -hmm. And so, as a responsible president, he has admitted the responsibility to fix the situation. Mm -hmm. But it is disheartening that those who have created the mess will now jump into the street and demonstrate. We're and talking about that. You're going all over. No, no, because, because he started it. That is, he went to the extent that the energy situation it is as a result of mismanagement and we are in doom so you didn't you didn't prompt him so let me clear that aspect before i come and i landed on the gas you understand and so if anybody could have helped us it should have been among brothers when they went into the street i thought that they were going to enrich the debate put out alternative measures there then this is what government is doing government the press has been following the president. So, all Kondo, over. you agree they are not obliged to give you remedies, are they? they? You say they are not. Then that is not opposition. That is not a proper opposition. But so far, l listen, listen, R Roland. In any civilized nation, the opposition is supposed to be a government in waiting. And so they must help the government in power, at least if it is not for political, I mean, I do see crisis, partisan I do see crisis, then we all have to put our heads together to develop the nation. Mm. You understand, and so if you jump into the street, going to enrich the debate, and they ask you your energy policy, and you tell Ghanaians that, it, but the battle is a lot. Speak to the issue. If it's not for political I mean, then I mean, speak I mean, to the issue. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Roland. And so for me, you know, we have to put the issue in its proper perspective. Mm. That the Ghana gas, gas plant, yes, that's why. But going. you don't have a system Ga for cutting it from Ghana, offshore yeah, to onshore. That is even not the point in the first place. If you listen to Dr. Sipanyanki, mm -hmm. he clearly stated that look, they had negotiations with VRA. And VRA assured them that look, they were going to absorb the energy that they were going to produce. That is it. Now, they and that is from Dr. Sipanyanki. They have finished, and as I mean, we 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 intended to do. They have finished, and then the amount of gas that the VRA is supposed to absorb, they are unable to take it. And this brings to mind that you see, whenever you meet the people, oh, government is not able to so buy wait, the. Let, let me get a clarification. Yeah. You're saying that the Ghana's company. The, the the gas is coming in yeah but because of the force what, 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 what we're producing the the optic so we don't have the the, the vra can take it not all of them the, why, not all. why the because, VRA because, because that we don't have enough machinery no. to take exactly. it exactly or they are broken down some of them are broken down okay and the vra also claimed that all not the fault of government oh well that for me we didn't plan even if, you're, you're talking even, about plans even, 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 <laughs> Even if even if somebody's child is crying in the mm -hmm. house, well, it is the person's right to be lay the blame on government mm -hmm. or the president. Mm -hmm. So in that perspective, I will agree. Okay, you understand. But the point is that Ghana Gas Light has completed their job, and it is left for VRA to absorb the gas. And they are saying that look, um, it is it is we can't take all. And VRA also comes out to say that look, there are some of the plan that is. I mean, we are only in a contract with the Ghana Gas to just give them gas, but we are we don't take supervision over those plants you understand this is the tap tapco and the tico and the rest and so that is the taxa between um a vra mm -hmm. and the the ghana gas but a very very important point you've made your point sir uh, but, well, uh, but but I, but that I, is why uh, you wait that is why dr sipayanke who is the ceo of the ghana gas company says that um in his word uh, he fears that the clean 
process gas may have to be flared while his workers look on helplessly as the economic game changer bends away. He believes this could be a, an economic yeah, game but changer. You, see, you, you uh, feel this is a rhetoric. But, 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 but the point no, is that... I mean, Roland. This you Roland, can't, you can't you blame on that? government. But, 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 Roland, Roland. Let me, let, that Roland, that's what I mean. Who is responsible? This, this is the, um, quite preposterous. Who is responsible? That's a strong right? word, you see. Yeah, preposterous. Because if government, you use the word that in a civilized environment, opposition is meant to do <laughs> certain things. In a, in a civilized nation, a government that has uh, superintended over such a bad energy sector. In, in, your, your, yes, in your estimate. Yes, okay. would West. have years. done the honorable thing and resigned <laughs> in any Before civilized over. Yes, <laughs> but the point is that, the point is that it's a failure in management. There's somebody or a group of people responsible for our energy sector. It's called coordination and creating synergy amongst all the various stakeholders. You can't what is now you there. cannot. You can never coordinate. You cannot. What you cannot spend. Really? How can you coordinate? Listen, <laughs> some of the reasons <laughs> why. Listen, some of the reasons <laughs> why we are facing what we are facing today is the government's appetite for borrowing. And anytime you start talking is about you saying the argument? If you, anytime you start talking about the economy, it's oh, right. are that down. But let me tell you, what's that got to do with borrowing? No, no, Roland, let me make my point. Let me make my point. You realize that anytime you start talking about our debt to GDP ratio, well, we'll come to that. you cannot talk about energy without talking about <coughs> the economy. Sorry. You understand? They claim that the monies that have been borrowed was meant to invest in He's having capital that particular topic right? so that after that, capital the rest will be mine, capital it? investments in the energy sector to alleviate our problems now we spend so much money time in this particular project mm. and then after five six seven years we are coming back to tell the people of this country that the things that were meant to be in place to make sure that we benefited from this gas hasn't happened or the vra for one reason or the other is not in tandem with the Ghana gas company. So we have to flare the gas. And then you would not take responsibility for it and claiming that the government cannot do anything about it. The government is responsible for the energy sector. The minister who is responsible for that particular sector, right, should have known that we're going to arrive at this situation. What kind of management so is in should place? Have, they should be preemptive. They can, no, yes, exactly. And they should because, be proactive uh, listen, listen, and creative. My point is that mm -hmm. three, four, five weeks ago, I'm not exactly sure when the Atobo came on stream, but a few months ago, right? The rhetoric was that Atobo was on stream, right? And now we are going to have uh, some well, conflict. At the time, that was the situation. And so what is the problem now? And like I said, you have to go back to the reasons that has been given mm -hmm. for why we are in this crisis. And I tell you for a fact that even when this situation with the Ghana gas and VRA is sorted out, this government will come back tomorrow, give us another right. reason. Your, your, your last wrap up on the subject, yeah. You see, I give you two minutes, unfortunately. I can't give you I, a time. I will want to use the opportunity to make a very, very important point that my uh, Eric and his people have been making. But look, basically, they've made Ghanaians to believe that it is because government cannot buy crude. That is why we find we've ourselves. Also, we've oh, also said oh, incompetence. Oh, 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 oh. Eric, you're not being fair to me. But yeah, you're not being fair. No, you, no, you just said that. Yeah. That's okay. no, okay. So you think that's a lie? It's a complete lie. Okay. Of, of course, it's Mashada, Mashada politics. Mm. You know, I've told you that there are three sources. So even if you go and buy crude, mm. you can't go and use it on the plant that will use water hydro. You can't go and put crude in Akosombo. That is if, if it's the only plant that's available. So it means that okay. you, if you're talking about crude, right. you have to access So why do you then go on about... We buy the crude. No, let, but the crude let, can let only me, let me ask a question. Let, let me ask plants. a question, Mr. Kando. Why do you go on and on mm -hmm. about how much in store capacity we have? And we know it's in excess of 2,800. Uh -huh. that's, another, that's another interesting point that everybody must understand. In store capacity right. means this is the structure you have that can generate. You see, but some of this plants, is how much you're generating fantastic, currently. Fantastic. Some of the plants, for example, if we say a plant can, uh, we for example, if it can give us, if it can give us about four hundred and it's supposed four, to be four hundred four hundred and forty megawatts. megawatts. It cannot give us for the maximum four hundred and forty. If you do, it can that. only give us at peak. Exactly. That and is so far, point. we've not been able to produce. Exactly. Okay. That is the point. So we must understand. So some we have shortages. Things. So if you talk about oh, government cannot buy uh, the crude. It, it looks as if it is only crude that we use to fire our plants. But government is buying crude for the plant that can give us 
the the the, 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 the power. power the one that's working for exactly okay. and that is what government is doing so if the plant cannot give us power through uh, uh, crude we cannot buy crude for it there are others that in other words you're saying we have the plants but the plants are not working some of them are because of the crisis we have because you you and i know very well that the, the water level in akosombo is down so we cannot go and buy water into akosombo dam which is you, confirmed. You, 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 you know very well that now the West Africa gas pipeline, we are not getting gas through that, to Tema. You understand? And that is a statement of fact. We cannot go and buy crude for that particular plant. Mm. We can only buy crude for those, I mean, that can use uh, 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 okay. gas, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, can I make this conclusion? Do, do, do we get the sense that for all the things we're talking about, it is only the medium to long term measures? or strategies implemented by government that is going to resolve the issue because so far you don't seem to have a clue yes, they do, they have, i mean uh, um, um, just uh, perhaps at this also, very point, unless of course you're refusing for, for, for the short-term measures i'm asking a question if you have you just yes, tell me yes you see don't and, try and, to and put I'm me at the corner and make me look no, no, bad. i'm surprised because the media has been following the president all over or everywhere he goes and the badges that are coming in as a immediate term the short term and the long term we all know it the government signing the centric or the uh, i mean the the, the I mean, a lot of contracts that some That's of them are going to come on screen two years three years the budget that are going to come even i think I'm, i don't want to sound authoritative but not later than may we're going to have some of the budgets in the you understand? Are not even in and place. so with a greater deal of respect well, the last we time i heard it was <laughs> talking a lot about this we 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 know that this is a real problem it's a real problem at hand we are fa we are facing the situation such that mm. it will not really okay we will not go and buy any third generator so that when the when Akosombo comes i mean when when the, there's the water level in Akosombo rises that's a jibe so, I, I mean that's a jibe at all no, but so,